ever seen a turn out and you're saying my my dope no you don't know him so let's see my story time so growing up um my grandmother um my paternal grandmother who raised me in venda used to go every year in december like around the 10th the 15th of december she would go to a place called Mapani for Mashonja. Uh, she would go with a lot of people there. And I don't really know the whole process of how they get Masonja. But when she came back, which is around maybe the 31st or the 30th of December every year, uh, she would come back with stolen hands because Masonja, this is Masonja. And this is, I made them to be like a, a snack, like talking on snacking with you guys um like you want them to have like gravy and make them for like older people you see so when she came back home she would tell us that after they get them fresh raw alive <laughs> they would boil them with a bit of salt and just dry them Remember, they didn't have beds or anything because they were like in some felt or forest somewhere. And they would sleep there for those weeks. And when they dry them and put them in a sack, like a big sack, and come back when they get home, they dry them even further. You can eat masonja raw, just like that, with a bit of salt. Or you can eat masonja like this first recipe that i'm going to show you so the first recipe is eating them raw you just buy them eat them <laughs> the second recipe is this one it's this one i don't know if you can see this is the second recipe where i'm going to show you you just fry and eat <laughs> and then the third recipe would be this this one now i think because of my grandmother that's where that spirit of being a businesswoman came from because she used to sell masonja my grandmother sold masonja for a very long time because they went there every december so it didn't even enjoy christmas because she was gone for christmas making sure that there's money there's food for us and we ate masonja almost every day if we didn't eat masonja, we ate things like wadereri, which is moroho. We ate mukusure, which is also moroho. We ate too much moroho. We ate gomasonja, which... And these things we didn't know back then, that they were very healthy. And people now are like, eat healthy, eat healthy. These are the healthy things that we ate. Because when we're cooking them, for, even though I added a bit of oil, my grandmother didn't add oil. We didn't use oil at all when we're cooking masonja when my grandmother was teaching us how to cook masonja so i think masonja somehow reminds me of my grandmother and i wish i knew where my pain was maybe i would go with keletso and kaki and ria <laughs> and sleep there without any blankets or whatever hey i could say we would die there but i wish we could just continue with that tradition of um going the to get my sonja and, and make them but i think with that i learned the spirit of becoming a business person and that is why now i have my own businesses that i do and i didn't know really well it is because of my grandmother but i saw her selling paraffin at home i saw her selling um kombot, which is how she vendor uh, <laughs> she would make it from scratch and I used to love what we call the rim um, and now I, I know how to do it because I saw her doing it every week every week uh, we would sell and then they would have this sack outside just to alert people what we have Aram Tomboti well I don't drink but I think um, because of that I just found myself every time when days are dark when my industry 
when in my industry I'm auditioning the day in and day out and jobs are not coming, I find myself doing other things on the side while waiting for that audition, you know. Uh, I've learned to bake, to cook, to sell this and sell that. Uh, and now I know that it is because of my grandmother. I hope you like my sonja. And we can all remember my grandmother. <laughs> Bye.